I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on volume of rectangular prism. As you know, volume of a prism is area of base times height. We will use this information to solve this particular question. The question here is, a rectangular prism has volume of 200 centimeter cube. Find possible dimensions of its base if its height is 10 centimeters, right? So that is the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Let us first sketch a rectangular prism. So it has a base. Let's say this is the rectangle, right? So when you have three dimensional figures, you place it like horizontally like this. And let's say we are given the height of 10 centimeters, so let's say this is the height of this prism, okay. okay. So there is kind of an overlap, okay. Anyway, so that becomes the rectangular prism. Now what are we given here? We are given that volume of this prism is, we are given volume as equals to 200, centimeter cube find possible dimensions of its base this is the base for us right so let's say this is the length and this is the width right so they find possible dimensions of the base if its height is 10 and let's say this height is given to us as 10 centimeters right so we are given volume and we are given height h equals to 10 centimeters right we need to find length and width of the base now for a rectangle what is the area of the base well the area of the base will be equals to length times width is it okay so that is the area of the base okay so that is how length and width are related with area now let's look into this question once again it says a rectangular prism has volume of 200 centimeter cube. Now, what is volume of a rectangular prism? Volume of a prism is area of base times height. So, we can say that the volume is area of base, that is A, times height. Is it okay? Now, volume is area of base times height. We know what volume is we know what height is and what we need to find is area first so we need to find what the area is right this is what we need to find so what we can do is we can substitute these values and find what area is or we could also rearrange area will be equals to volume divided by height how do we get that we get that by rearranging the formula we need to find what area is we can divide all these numbers on both sides by height right so if i divide both sides by height in that case the formula for area will be we can write area is volume divided by height you get an idea right so that is how we get area now area is volume divided by height volume is 200 centimeter cube so centimeter times centimeter times centimeter gives you centimeter cube height is 10 centimeters so 10 centimeter so that is the height for you correct now let's simplify so one of the centimeters gets cancelled off and 10 divided by 200 200 divided by 10 gives you 20, right? So that gives you area as equals to 20 centimeter square, right? Centimeter times centimeter, centimeter square. So if you write cube like this, you can easily get your units also, right? This is very important to understand when you begin working with formulas or kind of algebra, okay? Now areas now known to you as 20 centimeters square. The question really is, find possible dimensions of its base if its height is 10 centimeters. So 
Using height and volume, we found area of the base. Now, what are the dimensions? Dimensions could be length into width. So, we know that length times width, which is the area, should be 20 centimeters square. So, what are the possible dimensions? Well, how do you get 20? So, we need to find factors of 20. Do you get an idea, right? So, so we know it could be 1 times 20 equals to 20, right? It could be 2 times 10 is equals to 20. Or it could be 4 times 5, right? 4 times 5 equals to 20, correct? All the units should be in centimeters, right? All units should be in centimeters. So when you multiply centimeter and centimeter, you get centimeter square. So these are three possible answers. So with that, we could write down our solution, which is answer is possible dimensions. of base can be so there are three possible combinations a one centimeter by 20 centimeter b it could be two centimeter by 10 centimeters or it could also be c which is four centimeter by five centimeter right so so when you say by, that means we are writing in terms of length into width. So length times width kind of thing, right? Or you could say width times length, right? So, so that becomes the base. Base could be 1 centimeter by 20 centimeter. It could be 2 centimeter by 10 centimeter or 4 centimeter by 5 centimeter. When you multiply them, you get 20, which was the area of the base. So that is how we could solve such questions. I hope you find it interesting. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.